Hey, how's it going? Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're going to talk about Kemper Profiles. So you know on this channel, I'm a huge fan of my Kemper. I use it for all kinds of stuff. So today we're talking about ToneCrate.com profiles. Now they do two things very differently from most profiler houses on the internet. The, the number one thing is that they do a subscription box, which I really love because it means you get a new profile in the mail, in the email, every month and it gives you stuff that maybe you wouldn't play. It gives you profiles that you would you think you would never play before. I'm using the uh, Friedman JJ100, which is like the Jerry Cantrell amp. Now I would never buy that amp. I would never even think to even use that amp. But I got it in the email and I'm like, dang, this has become one of my favorite things. Now the other thing that's amazing about ToneCrate.com is they sound incredible. Whatever voodoo they're doing in their studio out there, they're doing some things differently and it is giving me a different result from other profilers. This is what they sound like. You're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, but any profile can do that. We're using the JJ100 Friedman profile on a pretty low gain setting. I'm using pretty low output pickups, which is kind of not what it's made for, but it's what I like. And so that's why I'm using it. Most profiles can do that. However, this is where Tone Crate is a little bit different in my opinion. When you start to back the gain off, because I like to use this like a real amp. I like to use this with, there's no pedals on, it's just that, and I wanna clean up my signal with just my volume knob. That's how I design my pickups at dylantoxtone.com, and that's how I like to play. So let's back the gain off a little bit, and let me show you what we're talking about. <laughs> Here's the thing, that was with the volume knob at two. Most profiles that are meant to be higher gain profiles, in my opinion, when you turn them down, get fizzy and crunchy in this weird, like they're just terrible. So they end up not being very versatile. This thing is incredible. <laughs> One of the things I really like about these profiles is how touch sensitive they are. So when you really back this gain off and now we've not touched anything. We've not changed profiles. We've not hit a pedal. We've not done anything except for back the volume off on the guitar. You dig in a little bit more, it gives you a little bit more, you let off, it softens up without getting that weird, those weird artifacts that a lot of profiles give you. It's just, it's incredible. They sound amazing. Here's the other thing that I love is how well they work with pedals. Let me show you. <laughs> Well, hopefully that 
that gives you a little bit of an idea. Not even scratching the surface of what ToneCrate.com can do for your Kemper profile game. My favorite thing about it is, is to be inspired. Our channel is all about inspiring you to play. That is one of the things I love about the Kemper, is having all of those sounds at your disposal and being able to just be inspired to play whatever guitar, whenever, wherever. Tone Crate is killer because they're sending you new sounds every month to help you do exactly the same thing. Whether you play metal, you play blues, you play, it doesn't matter what you play. When you get it in your inbox, you're gonna be like, hmm, I wonder what I can do with that. And I just really dig that concept. Thanks to Tone Crate for sponsoring this video. And also thank you for sending us some of these profiles to share because I think they're incredible. You need to go to ToneCrate.com, check out their, they have some free stuff, trial stuff. Well, since this is kind of like, what do you think Wednesday? Leave your comments below and let me know. Is this something that you would try? Do you have a Kemper? Do you play a Kemper now? Do you play any kind of profiling amplifier? And is this something that you'd be interested in for very little money a month? This is, I think, a really cool thing. Check it out. My name is Dylan. This has been Dylan Talks Tone. If you have any questions about this, about this, about any of this stuff that you saw today or anything else having to do with guitar tone, leave a question in the comments and we will make a video just for you.